Hi everyone, we are here at Scholastic in New York City at one of our headquarter offices and we are on the floor where all the classroom magazines magic happens. Take a look at the offices. Some beautiful wall art and we are going to go stop in Kara Corridan's office. She is the executive editor of StoryWorks Junior Magazine, one of our newest magazines. Let's go in here. Here's her office. Whoop. Hi, Kara. Hi there. How are you? Good. Hi, so everyone. what do you have for us today? <laughs> Well, welcome. Um, again, I'm Kara Cardin. I'm the executive editor of StoryWorks Junior. It's a brand new multi-genre language arts magazine for third graders, for high level second grade readers and struggling readers in upper grades. And this is our debut issue. It's our September issue just out and we're so excited about it. So I want to give you a quick walk through the issue, tell you a little bit about the highlights, and then give you a quick tour of our brand new website. Okay, so come on over. I'll show you. We open with a really fun infographic, which is a great way to teach main idea and supporting details. And then we jump right into what we call our big read. It's a six page narrative nonfiction feature. This one is about invasive species. This is the Burmese python and it's taking over the Florida Everglades. And with all of our main features, we have a featured skill for this story, it's cause and effect. And then you'll see tons of text features throughout the story. We have, high, we have vocabulary words that are highlighted and defined right on the page. We have photos and captions, maps, and then something we're really excited about are these pause and think boxes, which are quick comprehension checks. So your students, you know if your students understand what they just read. And then we end every feature with a writing prompt. Also with our big reads, we have this amazing video read aloud, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Next, we have our fiction story. This is such a sweet story. It's about a boy who just wants someone in his family to love fishing as much as he does. And all of our fiction stories really are a great way to teach character development and plot. And okay, now we have uh, paired texts. And you'll see from the way we design these that they are ideal for teaching compare and contrast. And the topics lend themselves beautifully to social studies and science. This issue, we cover climate in the form of the hottest place on earth and the coldest place on earth. Next, we have our read aloud play. You know how much your students love read aloud plays and how great they are at really helping them build their fluency skills. And in September, we have Stone Soup, the folktale Stone Soup. And in future issues, we'll have fables, we'll have myths, we'll have biographies. Okay, this is might be my favorite story in the issue. It's a debate and the topics for our debates are so perfectly appropriate for your students. They're gonna be really engrossed by the topic and you'll love how much they really hone their persuasive writing skills. So the topic in September is, are trampolines too dangerous? I think I know what most of your students will say, but when you read the piece, you'll see it's a very nicely balanced story. And then it ends with this graphic organizer that helps your students formulate their opinion. If you need this in a bigger version, it's available on our website as a one page PDF. And then next we have another brief informational text. This feature is called Paragraph Power, and it really walks your students through creating the perfect, well-organized paragraph. We have topic sentence, three details, a conclusion, and prompts to help them along the way. This story, as you can see, is about a cracker that survived the Titanic, and someone paid $23,000 in an auction to own it. We wrap up with a few more activities, focusing on grammar and vocabulary, and then we end with this poetry kit. This is a really nice poem, aptly named September. And we call it a kit because it's not just the poem. We also hone in on the literary technique, in this case, personification, 
we point out word choice, we have a writing prompt, and then we send you to our website for an activity that helps students write their own poem that includes examples of personification. So this is the September issue of StoryWorks Junior, and it's really just one piece of an incredible teaching tool. And honestly, this is practically the smaller piece. The huge offering that we have is online, we, and I want you to check out our website, storyworksjr.scholastic.com. We have um, a just launched website, and I just wanna show you a few of its best features. This is where you're going to find all of your teacher resources, all of your teaching support. We'll have lesson plans, activities, formative assessments, stories on different levels, audio, video, bonus teaching tips, more than you'll believe. So let me show you how it works. Again, it's storyworksjr.scholastic.com and you can jump right into the issue. If you want to download all your activities and quizzes at once, there's where you do it. If you want your 16 page teacher's guide, that's right there. And then every story that I just showed you has its own story card and you click on it and you flip over and you see all of the offerings that go with it. Lesson plan, video, audio, activities, and also the levels. So let me show you this video. This is what I was mentioning before. This is a video read aloud. I guarantee your students will be mesmerized by it because we've been in lots of classrooms where we've shown it and you can hear a pin drop. This is where the author narrates the story and it includes authentic, video footage and photos that really pull your students through. You could use it, almost consider it as a first read. And so that's where we have the video. We have audio on two levels, all of your activity sheets. Let me jump back up for the different versions. Starter is for your most struggling readers. It's the basic facts and vocabulary. Then you have your lower lexile version, your higher lexile, and then the on level, which is in the magazine. I mentioned these bonus teaching tips, just great things for you to know as you're planning the story for your classroom. And again, here's the lesson plan. So this is one story in the issue. As I say, you'll find all of the stories on our site and we've got all of our teaching tools and our philosophies and everything you'd want to know about what goes into the creation of this magazine and this resource. And so that is StoryWorks Junior. We hope you have a great school year. Please tell all your friends about it. What's, what I want to make sure you know is that the website is available for free this entire year. So all of the resources I just mentioned to you are available for free. We really want you to check it out. We wanna get teachers' opinions, so feel free to tell us what you think. We live for your feedback, so tell us, please. And we have a question from someone asking, oh. can it be sampled in September? Well, what you can do is you can check out all of our stories right here on the site. You can download the stories as well as the activities and resources. So again, it's all free. That's how excited we are about it. That's how much we want everyone to check it out. And what was the website again? Storyworksjr.scholastic.com. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Have a great year, everyone.